everyone welcome to a new video this is going to be an arty crafty one because for my birthday i was given the set of zig clean color real brush patterns a set of 24 different colors they're from japan by kuritaki i'm not quite sure how to pronounce that sorry so as i would like to send all my family thank you cards to, for my birthday presents from a couple well that was a couple of weeks ago now i'm a bit late on this so um i have to get this done today and get these in the post I thought I would actually use the brush pens that were a present from my cousin. Yeah, and give these a go. Not only have I never used these before, I've never used any brush pens before. So this is going to be a new experience for me and I thought I would share it with you if you're interested in having a go with brush pens. I'm going to use these not for illustration. I think they're pretty good for like, I don't want to say cartoony, but you know, manga -y sort of style pictures. I think these are really good for that sort of thing, but I'm going to really be using them for lettering and maybe like a couple of little drawings around the edge to make it look pretty. So to begin with, I'm just going to sort of experiment really. I've got myself a cartridge paper pad, uh, 135 GSM, and I've also got the pad I bought in America, which is Canson Mixed Media Paper. So that says it's for acrylic watercolour pen and pencil. I think this is the quite this is I think this is quite a budget version of watercolour paper. So far I've used it once with some ink tent sticks and pencils and it did bubble a bit, but not too bad. So I'm gonna give this a go. Yeah, first of all I'm just gonna play and see what happens. Once I've got the hang of using them, I'm going to just cut out the paper. Um, to fit against these sheets, which I got out of this book, which is the famous five splendid notes for every occasion book. I bought it in Home Sense actually, and it's just got these sweet little pull out cards, well, pieces of paper, and this one just says, I say thanks awfully. So I was going to put this as sort of the back part of my card and then decorate the front part and write on this, if, you, if that makes sense. Okay, let's have a go. it must have been what time did I start this I've been doing this about two hours I think and I've only done seven and luck well that's how many I needed to do it's so much more time consuming than you would think just to do lettering and a little bit of decoration with flowers I'm so pleased with these brush pens though I am so pleased they are just the thing I've been looking for, I, I think when I was younger, I think when I was a child, I watched a television programme about decorating narrow boats, all the swirls and patterns, and I've been wanting to do that sort of thing ever since and never had the right brushes or pens to do it. And well, now I have them and it's wonderful. As you can probably see on the when I had the camera here, I've done a sort of ombre effect and I used my very narrow paintbrush uh, with water to sort of blend that in 
So I think that took a little bit of extra time. I think maybe I'd be better off actually with a very short bristled brush, short bristled brush rather than this long bendy one because pushing the colours into each other to blend them, that took a little bit of time. I think it'd be a bit of bit quicker with a short shorter brush as you know I can't compare these with any others but I am really impressed with these zig clean color real brush pens uh, when I first saw them I saw how short the nibs were I thought there's no way you can get the nice flowy lettering but no you absolutely can definitely um, I would say that I struggled a bit Sorry about the jangling of the cat bell in the background, by the way. And the dog is whining because he's waiting for his walk. I struggled a bit doing the leaves for some reason. The writing was fine, but I couldn't get enough control of the brush to do tiny little leaves. That sort of thing I think would take practice and hopefully that would get easier. But yeah, I loved it. I love making these. So my thing to do next is to... I shall get the guillotine, cut these up, and then I'm just using, going to use washi tape to, to make the actual thank you card. So that will be the back side of the card, that will be the front, and it'll just open up like that. And hopefully, I mean, it's not going to be the strongest card in the world, because it's more like paper than card. Right, so I'm going to do all that, I'll put it all together in a minute, but for now, I'm going to hide these from the cats and take the dog out for a walk, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. By the way, I should have said, in the end, I only used the cartridge paper. I didn't use the posher paper. For my purposes, I found it fine. I did use the bigger paintbrush and some water to blend out some of the flowers because I felt that the paper was looking a little bit, just a little bit bland, being a, just a completely just white background. So yeah, I just sort of pushed the colour around the paper a bit and yeah it's gone a little bit i don't know if you can see from that i'll, I'll do a close-up in a minute when i've finished but, but for what i need the paper for i thought it was absolutely fine obviously if you were going to sell invitations or cards on etsy then i think you would have to use the posher paper or even posher watercolor paper but um yeah i thought this is the first time i've used it and i'm quite pleased with the quality of it right okay i've got my guillotine and now i'm going to cut these up and hopefully don't mess up the size <laughs> So I've just done my little Instagram setup, and now I've done that I'll show you this close up a little bit. I've just simply put the tape along one edge and taped the two pieces of paper together and you open up, I see, thanks awfully. And there's, I assume that's George shaking hands with a chimpanzee, <laughs> I don't remember which book that one's from. <laughs> By the way, the washi tape I used um, was from Paper Chase. It was in a sale though when I bought it, so I don't suppose it's still available at the moment. And I used the one with a sort of Japanese style print, which I thought was very appropriate considering I was using the Japanese brush pens and the colours sort of go quite nicely as well. Cards are finished and I'm, yeah, like I said earlier, I'm just so happy with them. I really, really am. Yeah, what more can I say? I will definitely be making more cards. So I really enjoy myself. I love the blending of them. They are they are basically like watercolours in a pen. And then I'm sure there's all kinds of effects I need to learn that you can do with adding water or I assume you could also you could also use a brush to sort of pick up the colours to sort of leave highlight. Hopefully by the time this video goes up my family will have received these in the post already so the surprise won't be spoiled. And my fridge has started making an annoying noise so I'll just say goodbye. I do art crafty videos every now and then. I also do sewing videos and then I also mix in some vlogs as well. So if you'd like to see that please hit that subscribe button below if you're new here. And also I'll be writing a blog post if you like to read a blog as well as watch YouTube videos then I'll um, put the link to the blog post about the pens below and in the blog post I will be putting a link to where you can buy the pens if you're interested also if you're interested in purchasing any of the bits and pieces that I've used today I'll um, put the links in the blog post so please go there to find them thank you and I'll see you again next time thanks for watching bye